What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMode.com, and I am back with my NFL DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday Night Football, Broncos and Chiefs. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite and least favorite contenders are. And shout out to No House Advantage for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Use the promo code AWESOMO when signing up to get up to $25 on your first deposit. Now we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Cortland Sutton, Clyde Edwards E. Lair, Noah Fant, Jerry Judy, and Teddy Bridgewater. I ran out of breath saying all of that. That is sad for today. Anyway, who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. In at number five, technically tied with Teddy Bridgewater, that's Travis Kelsey. He is 10K, projected for 16 fantasy points. Kansas City, nine and a half point favorites at home against Denver, 46 and a half point total. This is the number seven offense at PFF, going up against the number 21 ranked defense. So fantastic spot for Kansas City. Six and a half percent chance for Kelsey to go for more than 30. Eight percent chance for him to be the optimal captain. Plus you get another 36 at the utility spot. Add it all up, 44% likelihood. That, meant, that makes Kelsey and Bridgewater tied for that number five spot. In at number four, we've got Daryl Williams. He is only 2K, projected for nine and a half fantasy points. Uh, obviously, we have the same matchup here for Williams as we do for Kelsey. No real opportunity to go for more than 30, but that's not why you roster people at 2K. 3% chance to be your optimal captain. 47% likelihood he's in the optimal at the utility. All it takes is a really low salary and a guy that can play a little bit for you to get into an optimal lineup 50% of the time. Daryl Williams is the coin flip guy. Half the time he's in, half the time he's out. And we've got that at number four. In at number three, a man with quite the ceiling, Tyreek Hill, 10,800, projected for 21 fantasy points. Same matchup as Williams and Kelsey. We've already talked about it. Kansas City, pretty big favorites here. 27% likelihood for Hill to go for more than 30 Basically the exact same odds that he's the optimal captain. So you know what you need there. 36% likelihood at the utility spot. We see we're taking a pretty big jump up in tier here for Tyreek Hill. He's in at the number three spot, more or less tied for second. And that guy that's in the number two spot is Javante Williams. He is 7,600, projected for almost 17 fantasy points. Denver, nine and a half point dogs in Kansas City, 46 and a half point total. But it's not the worst matchup in the world. They are the number 16 ranked offense at PFF. Kansas City's got the number 19 defense, so it's not a bad spot in that regard. It's basically just that their offense can't keep up, um, it, or that their defense is a little bit worse. But like this matchup, Denver offense against Kansas City defense, it's not all that bad. 6% chance for Williams to go for more than 30, 10% likelihood for be the optimal captain. I think that's happening because of that $7,600 price tag. Plus you get another 52% at utility. That made him just slightly, by one percentage point, edge out Tyreek Hill for the number two spot. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. You gotta go follow me at Josh Engelman, and you should hop in the comment section and let me know who your favorite plays are for tonight. And finally, one last time, go check out No House Advantage and use that promo code AWESOMO when signing up. Closing it out, obviously, with Pat Mahomes, 12,400, projected for almost 24 fantasy points. He should be able to carve up Denver, the number 21 ranked D. 27% of the time, he's going for more than 30. He's the optimal captain 22% of the time. He's optimal at utility 53% of the time, which is kind of crazy. You don't see that all that frequently for quarterbacks on DraftKings, but you do on a day like today where he's so far separated from the pack. 12-4 is not going to be a problem. You know what you're getting out of Mahomes at this point. A 76% likelihood to be in the optimal. Three out of every four times you play a slate like this, Pat Mahomes is in your optimal lineup. That makes him the number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NFL DFS contenders on DraftKings for Sunday Night Football, Chiefs, and Broncos. FanDuel version of this video is around here somewhere. Check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.